Oh, it's already flowing a little better. Beavers. Fricker bush. Hey everyone, you just saw me unclog this culvert here. That was clogged up by beavers. A lot of this material is not new. That's because the beavers have already been removed by the park service. They won't be clogging this one up again. Last time I did this, one of the park rangers said they were gonna be trapped pretty soon because they kept causing the road to wash out. And now you see this here? Got it open as much as I could. This culvert is deeper. This one won't run. Even if you get more stuff in front of it, out. Just won't run. Water level's not deep enough. And you see all the damage on both of them? Idiot with an excavator. That's what you call that. Some idiot with an excavator. Instead of spending five minutes like I did, instead brought a piece of machinery down here that probably took couple hours to drive out here takes time to unstrap drive off the truck and they damage the culvert 
because these are not rotted out yet in the bottom. They still pro probably have a good five years left in them. But now that's like this. Because these culverts used to go out a pretty far ways. You see this? The road, as soon as we get past this, it opens up a few more feet. The road is now smaller because the idiot with an excavator kept breaking it. They have to keep cutting it, breaking it. That's what's happening. And it reduces capacity and easier to clog up against it. There's no more beaver activity here. This stuff is old. Beavers are not around anymore. You see this right here? More pieces of the culvert that they ripped off. Yep. When I came here two springs ago, it was crossing the road here. It was washed out. One of the loggers took a whole bunch of logs out of the truck to fill into the big giant, you know, the water crossed it, washed it out, creating a big void. And one of the loggers filled with logs so you could get across it. Pretty good idea for the time being. I'll go show you that. Look at this culvert here. See it? Right here you can see a little kink. A little kink right there. Because an idiot with an excavator lifted it up, kinking it. Now it's useless. This is in case those other ones clogged. This one could start working. But this one won't start working until it's already crossing the road. Idiot with an excavator is what you call this. Now let's walk down the street a little ways. This is the water leaving the culvert I just unclogged. Pretty nice. Now back across the street. Water's still flowing good. What I just did will cause the pond to drop approximately four inches or so. Right now we're taking a walk down the street to the lowest point. This lowest point is below that other culvert I showed you where they ripped half of it out of the ground by accident instead of getting out and doing it by hand. Instead, they waste a bunch of time bringing the machine out here in the middle of nowhere. Right here is the lowest spot where the water crosses. This is where the big void was before the grader did a great job fixing it. You can see the road right here that I'm talking about. It washed into the woods. Oh, there's still one of the logs that the logger used to fill it with. It looks like they cleaned up most of the logs, though. But you can see this is where it crossed, and it washed out the road. You can still see the road right here. That's the washed out road before they brought more gravel in. But anyways, hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Already getting some fall colors out here.